Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I like to share any and all things that bring me joy, hence the name Share Elation. Today I wanted to share with you all the various sunscreens that I own and my thoughts on each. I'll do a quick uh, swap on my arm just to see, you know, to give you a flavor of what it looks like, the finish of it, how it feels to me. And I hope you find this video helpful because there are so many different sunscreens out there and as I get older, I find that it's so important to really protect your skin and put sunscreen on regularly before you have any makeup on or anything like that. That's even more important than makeup, I would say. So let's get started um, and we'll start from left to right and see how, just give you a, you know, a little test of what each one looks like and my thoughts on each. So the first three were purchased from Japan and the rest were purchased um, from the States. I will try to provide links to all of them below. Some of these, um, I think the first three I did feature in a Japan favorites video once before, uh, but uh, again, I'll just quickly repeat just to show all the differences. Okay, so this one is a pretty small bottle by Shiseido. It's SPF 50 and it's very liquidy. So if you shake it up, you hear that little ball inside and it comes out quite, uh, let's start down here. So you can actually see my skin is very light and very fair. I am very prone to getting um, freckles on my face and my arms or freckles, it, like body freckles. So any bit of sun exposure, I, I can get it very easily. So I'm very adamant not only to protect my face, but my arms as well. So I'll just show you here. So you see, it's kind of like a milky white finish. And it goes on very easily and smoothly. You can see it disappears quite quickly. This one is not sticky at all. I would say all of these that I own are are not sticky. Um, I think this one, the Ulta MD, might be a, a tad bit sticky, but you know, it, this is very good at protecting your skin and very highly recommended by dermatologists. So I still use it. So you can see, it it literally disappeared. Like you feel it for me. It feels like a satiny, soft finish. Um, very, very light, um, and very smooth kind of like a moisturizer feeling, if you will, after you uh, put it on. This one is another Japanese brand called Can Make Mermaid Skin Gel UV, also SPF 50. It's a fairly small bottle as well, 40 grams. And this one, let's see, 40 milliliters. So the size is comparable. This one is a little bit smaller. Good for traveling. This one as well. I actually keep, keep this one in my mini pochette, my Louis Vuitton mini pochette, and it fits very comfortably and nicely. Okay, so this one is a gel-like finish, um, which is why they call it that, Skin Gel UV. So you can see, again, it, it is um, clear when you uh, apply it and rub it across your, your skin. Um, again, it, you can see it, it kind of has a tiny bit of a shimmer to it, um, ever so slightly, but it is very uh, smooth to the finish, a little bit liquidy, but once it dries up, it, it is, it's, you know, it, you really don't feel it. I would say the first one, the Shiseido one, is still like a very satiny, almost a little bit powdery type of finish. This one just blends into your skin, sort of like a lotion or, or a, a liquidy moisturizer. Okay, now this one, also from Japan, Nivea Sun Super Water Gel, again SPF 50, 80 grams, so double the size in that, although it doesn't really look like it, but the bottle is, you know, taller and the profile is a little thicker. This one is very liquidy as well can see it goes on very easily you can see it it is um, also very liquidy like sort of like a lotion 
all three are not sticky. I can definitely attest to that because that it really bothers me, especially in the summer when it gets too sticky. So you can see um, it's kind of like a little coating, like a clear coating. But once it dries, again, it's similar to the Can Make one where it, it does have, you could feel it once it's on your skin. It's not sticky, but you, you do feel it. Um, I don't know if that makes sense, but you, you can feel that you have something on your face and it's, it's um, a light, thin coat of some kind of, <clears throat> some kind of uh, watery uh, sort of substance. So again, this is the, the Nivea one. Okay, so you can see the first two have dried completely. You really don't see it. Um, and you can see like, it's very smooth. My skin is still very smooth. You don't feel that it's, it's sticky at all. It's again, hard to show on camera to, whether it's sticky or not, unless you touch my arm, but hopefully you can believe my description as, 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 as much as I'm able to describe it. So you see here, it hasn't really completely dried, but we'll revisit this section in a little bit. Okay, this next one is by Super Goop. It's actually for the eyes. So it's called Bright Eyed 100% Mineral Eye Cream, SPF 40. And this is uh, half a fluid ounce or 15 milliliters. I use this pretty consistently um, for my eyes because that's also a very sensitive area uh, of, of your face. Your eyes um, have the you know very thin skin so I try my best to protect it very well. So you can see this has a bit of a tint to it, but again, when you blend it out, it sort of blends in with my skin because my skin is very light and fair. So you can see it, it doesn't really cover much in terms of blemishes or anything, but um, it does have a thicker consistency as you could tell from when I pumped it on my hand uh, but for the eyes, I mean, I really don't really touch my eyes all the time. It's fine for me. Um, it, it is a little bit, it has a little bit of like tackiness to it, but not uncomfortable and, and really sticky. So this is, you, you feel that it's, um, there's, there's like a thick layer of something on your skin, if that makes sense. But given your skin around your eyes are so thin, I think it's a nice kind of like protected layer on top. And of course the SPF helps. Okay, so you see here, you can see that the, the Nivea one still has a little bit of shine to it, but it has completely dried and it, it feels you know fine to the skin. Of course, you'll always feel a little bit of something on your skin every time you put something on it, even like hand lotion or hand cream. So my skin is still pretty smooth and, and feels very comfortable. Next one is called the Elta MD Skincare UV Broad Spectrum SPF 46. This is 1.7 fluid ounces, 48 grams. And yeah, so about triple the size of this. Okay, so this one, Let's use this arm here. You can see it comes out white. It does take a little more effort to blend it out a little bit, but it, it does really protect your skin. Again, I've seen many reviews online and uh, many dermatologists, including mine, recommend that I use this. So I'm just trying to use this one up. It, it is almost empty and just want, don't want to waste you know things that I've purchased if I could use them. Who else feels that way? Like I, I have a lot of joy when I finish something and finish it up. And if I really like it, of course I will buy it again. But if not, I just don't want to have things go to waste and just use it all up. Okay, so see now I completely you know blend it in on, on the, uh, the upper surface of my hand. You don't really see it you know, any kind of residue or anything, it goes on clear. Um, actually, it's not very sticky at all. I would say it's, you, again, you feel something on it. You feel that, you know, you've put something on. There is a, a tiny bit of fragrance to it, but it's more, it's not like perfumey kind of fragrance, but 
um, just to warn you, it smells, I can't even describe it. It actually smells a little bit like the beach to me. I don't know if others feel that way if you have this product and you use it. What do you think it smells like? So you can see it, it's, uh, it goes on pretty smooth, very, really transparent. Um, I would say it, it has a pr pretty good feeling to it. Not, not uncomfortable again, so I think it's good to use consistently over you know warmer weather, especially when you're out and about um, all day. And reapplying, I'm sure, would be fine. Okay, so that was this one, Elta MD. Okay, this one I purchased because I wanted to try and use something that um, was not liquidy in case, you know, this would be easier to travel with. Um, and this is called Brush on Block SPF 30 Mineral Sunscreen. And this is 3.4 grams or 0.12 ounces. So you can see this, the powder down below and when you open the top, you have a brush, which you can bring this piece down. It just slides up and down very easily. And the product, uh, you do need to sort of um, tap it on your arm or face a little bit just to get it to come out. Sometimes it takes a little while, I find. Um, and it's hard to even tell unless you're like you're in the sun sometimes you actually see the powder come out so right now like I can't even tell if it's coming out so I would say this is a little bit annoying in that sense that you really need to shake it out and get the product out but once it's out it, it, it is so see you see a little bit of the powder now if I do this some more okay so it goes on of course the brush is very smooth and it it doesn't like poke your face or make it feel uncomfortable but again it's difficult to tell when the product is out unless you shake it super hard so let's try it again so you can't really really tell but sometimes you can tell just from the brush you see some spots come out um, so it's more to reapply during the day I do use it you know on top of any makeup or other sunscreen that I have on but for me personally, I probably wouldn't use this again because again, it's so hard to tell whether you've gotten the product out and how much of it you got out. You can tell like just, you know, again, from the brush that some of it has come out, but uh, and of course it comes off pretty clear on my skin because of the color of the powder. Um, I don't even know if it says what color it is, but it's supposed to be, you know, pretty transparent, but again, I feel it when I have the product on, but again, I can't tell how much of it I've put on. And I'm not even really sure how effective it is because it could be some spots I have more of it on, some some spots of my face I have less. So I'm not sure if I really recommend this one, but it, it does feel fine on, the, on my face. You know, again, not sticky, but the powder can sort of get all over the place. Uh, these last two were also recommended by um, a, a dermatologist and other YouTube videos. So I wanted to give it a shot because I've heard very good things about both of these. So this is CeraVe Hydrating Mineral Sunscreen SPF 50, lightweight, non-greasy feel, suitable for sensitive skin. Okay, so my husband has very sensitive skin. And so I thought I would buy this. Um, it, it is pretty fragrance free and I figured my whole family can use this so the consistency is somewhat thick not liquidy like the first three but again once you blend it out this is thicker for sure and it takes a little bit of time to really blend it well um, so you don't have that white cast left over on your skin but once it's on your skin it it feels fine. I, I do feel it is, it is not greasy, but it's, it's one of those things where like, you know, you, you feel a layer of something on your skin. Um, it, it is a, a tiny bit tacky, but 
not uncomfortable like you clear you clearly don't see any like greasy residue on it so it it is a little bit thicker but i think it does protect your skin quite well okay so not bad uh it's good for the whole family to use especially for sensitive skin it hasn't irritated anyone in it in my family so i think it, it is you know pretty good but you know it, it is one of those things where you you do feel a little bit of it okay last product okay this is called kula classic body sunscreen i got this in the guava mango there is a unscented version which i've tried before but i thought i wanted to have a little bit of smell uh to remind me of like summer months um, says it's ultra lightweight, hydrates and nourishes, and has plant protection, SPF 50, and it says it's water resistant as well. So this is the 3.4 fluid ounce. Okay, so let's try it. Let's try it on the back of my arm. So you can see the consistency of this is similar to the CeraVe. And again, once you blend it out, this is actually a little smoother um not as thick as the other one it does have a nice tropical scent to it so if that kind of scent bothers you i would go for the unscented version but you can see this goes on a lot more easily than the CeraVe like you don't get much of the white cast but of course for all of these once you blend it out more it is clear and transparent Personally, I like this a little bit more than the CeraVe because you can feel it is a little lighter in weight. Um, it's not as, I guess, thick or uh, it, you, you feel that the layer on your skin is a little thinner, if that makes sense. So I, I do like to use this. I like to mix it up for all of them, actually, because I want to be able to use all of the products, not let it go to waste. Uh, but I would say, out of all of these, um, my favorite would probably be the Kula and probably the Can Make. This is really nice to just carry in your bag every day. Again, this fits in my mini pochette and I'm sure this one would as well. This one's very nice because it does actually end up feeling like a powdery finish. Don't know how they do that, but it does feel different compared to the rest of these. So I would say these three are my favorite. Okay, so I hope this is helpful. I'll try to put links to all of these down below. And if you have any questions for me, I know I'm not very good at describing all these things, but I hope it helped um, just to see each of them, you know, on my skin and how it blends and everything. So any questions, feel free to comment down below and I will get back to you. Thanks, um, have a great day and hope everyone stays happy and healthy. Bye.